assalamu alaikum students how are you hoping that you will be fine today we will read unit number 1 that is our earth before starting reading first of all we will do this interesting thing you have to guess the names of these things and it's very easy first of all we will start with this this is a cloud C L O U D cloud. This is the sky. Obviously, this is the sun. The snow. And what's this? Yes, this is a forest. rock mountain and river r i v e r river M O U N Mount T A I N T A I N Mountain F O F O R E S T Rest Forest. So, our Earth is made up of land and water. In some places, the Earth is flat and plain. In other places, it is raised. In most of the places, there is water. All around the Earth, there is air. So, they are talking about our earth that it is made up of land and water you should know that almost 70 percent of our earth is covered with water and rest of it is covered with land in some areas there is flat land in some in some other areas the land is raised just like in case of mountains and all around the earth all around the earth there is air is that clear all around the earth there is air so in today's lecture and in this chapter we'll read about all these things the mountains the forests the river the plain areas so we'll read about all the physical features of this earth so what comes under land? Our earth has different types of land. It has plains, forests, deserts, hills, mountains and valleys. All the dry area of earth is called land and land has all these different categories like plains, forests, deserts, hills. Okay, let's start reading from page number 2. Plains Plains are vast areas of flat lands. Many different kinds of crops can be grown here. Many people live here. Most cities, towns and villages are built in the plains. According to the season, it is hot or cold in the plains. So, flat areas of land are called plains. Is that clear? Vast means large. So all the flat areas of land are called plains and most of the people used to live in the plains just because of its suitable climate. And also because crops can be easily grown there. So most of the cities, towns and villages are built in the plains. You can see these plains. Punjab province falls in this category. Okay. Now, we'll read about forests. In some places, large parts of land where different types of trees growing close to one another, these form forests. Large number of wild animals live in forests. Day by day, the forests are getting smaller and smaller. This is because people are cutting a lot of trees 
they should not do this as trees are very useful to us so forest or jungle it is a place where large number of trees are grown in abundance closer to one another so this is called a forest and we all know that wild animals live in the forests so we should not cut the forest due to overpopulation a large number of forests are being cut so deforestation is not beneficial for our environment because trees are very useful to us many wild animals live in the forest now what are deserts we know that hot and dry land is called desert the land in some parts of the earth is very very dry it is covered with sand such a place is called a desert deserts have very little rain and water only a few plants can grow in these places a few animals like camels are found here very few people live in the deserts so as deserts are hot and dry places very few people live in the deserts and due to little rain and the unsuitable or unfavorable weather mostly people cannot survive here for a very long time very few plants can be grown here just like we can see it is a cactus and very few animals can live in the deserts camels are mostly found in deserts now come to page number 3 coasts or coastal areas the land areas near the sea are called coasts there are sandy beaches near many coasts many people live in coastal areas coconut trees grow very well in coastal areas coastal areas are warm and the air is humid it makes people sweat a lot so what are coasts or coastal areas as you can see in the picture all the areas near the sea are called coastal areas most of the people live in coastal areas and which type of plants grow here usually coconut trees grow here and there are sandy beaches near coasts there are sandy beaches near the coasts and what is the weather like it is warm and air is humid it means there is humidity in the air just like karachi is a coastal area and we know that a lot of people die every year in summers due to heat stroke and due to a lot of humidity which is present in air so air is humid near the coastal areas and due to that humidity people sweat what do you mean by sweat sweat is actually moisture which comes out from the pores of your skin in order to release heat what we call pasina in urdu is that clear so what are polar regions as you can see in the picture these are very cold areas in the polar regions the land is always covered with lots of snow and ice very few plants grow in these areas only a few animals like polar polar bears and seals can live in these very cold places people who live in houses made of ice slabs are called eskimos so the area of land which is covered with ice or snow throughout the year is called polar region very few animals can survive in polar region just like polar bear seal and penguins the people are people live 
in specially built houses and these houses are made from ice slabs and such houses are called igloos and people who live in igloos are called eskimos and the climate is very cold in polar regions okay there is something interesting information for you the polar bear is so strong that it can kill an animal with one blow to the head a polar bear looks very cute but you know how strong it is it can beat or harm any animal by blowing his head only once to him that's so interesting okay now come to page number 4 there is another interesting activity from whatever you have learnt till now you have to join coast with yes coconut trees coconut trees are grown in coastal areas polar region camels no camels are not they are found in deserts yes seal seal polar bear and penguins are found in polar regions wheat or any type of crops are grown in the plains and camels are usually found in deserts okay now come to another topic that is hills so what are hills a hill is a place which is higher than the surrounding land hilly areas are generally cool and pleasant it rains very often in the hills so the houses on the hills have sloping roofs to let the rain water flow away easily so the area which is higher or which is raised from the surrounding land is called a hill the weather in the hill areas is usually cool and pleasant it is cold weather and pleasant in the hill areas as it often rains in hill areas so the houses are built such that their roofs are slopy it their roof slope downwards just like this so that the rain water may flow from the roofs easily now the next topic is mountains mountains are much bigger than hills what is the difference between hills and mountains mountains are bigger in size and these are raised much higher from the surrounding flat land so mountains are much bigger than hills some mountains are rocky some are full of forests and animals some very high mountains are covered with snow and now i am going to tell you that how a river is formed when snow melts water starts flowing down the mountains in this way a river is formed the top of the mountain is covered with snow in winters so due to heat of the sun when the snow starts melting the water starts going down and in this way a river is formed is that clear okay now another interesting information the himalayas are the highest mountain chain on earth and mount everest in the himalayas is the tallest mountain in the world so the uh, which is the highest mountain in the world it is the mount everest which is in the 
Himalayas. It is the highest mountain range on earth. Now, what is a valley? A large, narrow area of low land between that lies between mountains or hills is called a valley. Valleys are good for farming. So, what is a valley? A low land between whether it is between mountains or whether it is between hills. That area of low land is called valley. Valleys are very suitable for farming for agriculture. Weather is also pleasant in the valleys. Now the last topic is water. A large part of the earth's surface is filled with water. Water is very important to us. All living things need water. Yes, we all know that as I already told you that almost 70% or 3 fourth of earth is covered with water. All living things need water, not only human beings but also trees and plants can't live without water. Most of the water present in the earth is salt water. It is present in vast, vast means huge quantities in water bodies called oceans and seas. So oceans and seas are filled with salt water. The fresh water that we use is present in rivers, lakes, streams and ponds. The water we drink comes from rivers, lakes, streams and ponds. A lot of water is also stored as ice and snow. So we should keep that in mind that water is not only in the form of oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, streams and ponds but it is also stored in the form of ice and snow, what we call glaciers. What is also present under the ground, just like in the picture, the well, what we call kua. We get underground water from the well. Now in this picture we will see different sources of water like pond, lake, stream, river and sea. What is a pond? Pond is a small area of water. Then lake. Lake is large area of water which is surrounded by land. Pond is also surrounded by land but it is smaller in size than the lake. Now how does a stream formed? A stream is formed when snow on the mountain gets melt due to heat of the sun and it falls down the mountain. So when it falls, it falls in the form of a stream. So when the streams combine, they form a river large stream which flows into another river or sea is called river. So sea is that source of water in which the river falls into. Is that clear? So if you have understood the lesson carefully then you will be able to solve the exercise and learn and write the question answers as well so good luck for the exercise